Hello everyone and welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create quote card component and user can basically clone your component using CN CLI. As you can see, this is the example. This is live on the first cell. As you can see, this URL and basically user can clone the component using this command right here. I'm going to show you step by step from generating the brand new Nexus application. We are going to create the super simple quote card component and then we are going to deploy on the first cell and then after that user can clone the component using the set cn cli so let me show you right here this is basically the um code right this is basically next.js with set cn installed as you can see there's no component folder in here and i just want to copy this command right and paste that right here and px set cn add and this url right here so let's try to hit enter and hopefully now we have the component file as you can see here we have the quote card file in here super cool and also we have this card basically this is cut from the set cn ui itself so i hope you're excited for this video and let's get started all right so let's generate the brand new next.js application i'm gonna call that my quote card i'm gonna use typescript eslin Halloween, of course, source directory, say no, app router, yes, turbo pack, yes, import alias, just say no. Great. So now let's see it to the my quote card component and open that inside Visual Studio Code. So first we need to install the setcn. Let's go to the setcn documentation, click next.js, and then just co copy this command and then open terminal, just paste that. This basically will install the setcn. We can do, uh, I'm gonna select neutral. So now we need to create the quote card component. So in here, I'm going to create component folder, components, and then inside that, I'm gonna create the file quote card.tsx. Basically, I just wanna do RFC and then change the name to quote card. So this quote card component, it should be half card UI component from setcn. That's why in here, I'm gonna say npx. Uh, set cn at lettuce at cart so we are going to install cart component so let's take a look as you can see here we have ui and then cart component so this is basically the cart component that we are going to use all right so first i'm going to say npm run dev and then just try to use the cart component into this quote card so anyway this is just really simple quote card component as you can see here this quote card is require the quote and outer props as you can see this should be string and then this is just card that have card content and then this is the block quote right this is the p tag for the outer just that's it so now let's try to render that quote card into the page.tsx go to app and then page.tsx in here um for now i just want to do diff inside that let's try to render so anyway i just want to give this quote right here the best way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing and the author is walt disney so let's try to take a look the result i want to open the local host 3000 let's take a look here we go as you can see this is the quote card so i think i'm going to create something like container in here i'm going to add this class name the minimal hig is screen the background gray 50 display flag flex column item center and justify center and the padding is egg. As you can see here, the div is um, error, cannot find name div. What did you mean about that? So let's try to reload. And as you can see, the error is gone basically. Super cool. So now let's take a look at the result. This is the result. And then what the next thing I'm going to do is I just want to put the code in here so user can just copy and paste to basically install the quote card component so this is basically just super simple text and code as you can see here this is the div that wrapping the paragraph and that have text install this component and then as you can see here this is the code tag that have this text npx set cn add and the url should become from the environment variable so i'm going to paste this environment variable as you can see here the url set equals to process.env.next public component registry url and then i'm going to go to the root of the application and try to create a .env file and paste the value here next public component registry url so for the value of this environment variable is basically the url slash r slash 
quote card dot json so basically the url it should be something that we are going to change after i deploy that project into first for, first for example and the r is basically the fold, folder that i just like to put any json file on that and the quote card is just the file right so let's try to create that file so here on the public let's take a look at this public right here i'm going to create a folder called r because in here I specify that it should be inside of our folder. And inside that, I'm going to put this quote descart.json, right? The name is doesn't really matter, but you have to put in that as a JSON file. Here we go. So now what we have to put in here. So the first thing is I'm going to open an object and then put the name, right? The name is quote card. It, this is just doesn't really matter. You can put the name anything you want. And the type is in this case is block, right? Registry block. The description is simple quote card using set cn ui and then in here for the registry dependency this is basically the dependency that require when user install this quote card component that means it will basically install the set cn ui what the set cn ui that you want to install in this quote card so we need to user it should be half the card component right card so it means if user typing on the terminal like npx set cn ui this one right here this is basically will also install the card ui component from the set cn and also we need to specify the files in here so the file it should be an array and inside that we have the path the content the target etc so basically the path let me do the path it should be on the component component slash code descart.dsx and also for the target it should be on the component slash code descart.dsx as well right you can just change this whatever you want you can do like component slash ui if you want to after user clone your code it should be placed that quote card component into the ui folder but i just like to put that just on the component folder that's why in here i put component slash quote card.dsx and then in here we need to put the type as well the type of this is should be a component so we can put registry colon component and also the important part is the content itself so let's do content so what we have to put on the content so basically the content is the code itself as you can see in here on the code card this is basically the component so we are going to escape this component so i'm going to copy everything and then go to the website like jsonformatter.org slash json dash escape i'm going to paste it right here and then just click escape right this is basically the string that we can copy and paste so i'm going to copy that and then go back to the json right here and just paste that but as you can see here we get this error the reason is because we're using this right here this quote right here right if you remove that and just use simple quote like this right if you copy it again and just paste that again escape that now the error should be gone right just paste that right here and now i believe the error should be gone just like this i think for now it's fine to use just like a quote it's fine for now right let's just close this and then let's try to now we are going to deploy this project into the first cell. So first, let's go to the GitHub, right? So let's open my GitHub. And then in here, I'm going to click new project. As you can see, new repository. And then for the repository name, I'm going to put this quote card. I hope it's available. Cool. So I just want to put this as a private um, repository. And then let's try to click create repository. And then in here, as you can see, the first thing is we have to change the branch as a main. This is already main. And then what I'm going to do first is let's try to just commit that, right? I'm going to use this commit right here. Let's try to do git at all and then git commit in first commit. And then what we have to do is put as a remote at origin in here and push that code. Just super simple and hit enter. This basically will add remote origin and then we'll push that code on the GitHub. So now the code it should be right here on the GitHub. Super cool. So the next thing is let's open the first cell. So this is my first cell. As you can see here, I can click add new project and then just looking for your code card in here, just click import and then uh, just deploy it, right? Because we have the environment variable. 
I think I'm going to um, update that later, but for now, just deploy that is fine. So anyway, down here, as you can see, we get the error. So we cannot use like a quote on the quote card component. So we have to use this um, symbol right here anyway. Let's try to go back on the quote card and then let's try to update that in here. I'm going to quick fix, replace that, quick fix, replace that, right? And let's try to push that again. I'm going to say git add all, git commit, and I'm going to add message like um, change the quote into, I'm going to paste this right here, just like that. And then just hit enter. So now we can do git push origin main this basically will push the new changes let's take a look on the github here i'm going to refresh as you can see now it's updated right let's try to go back in here and then we have to deploy that again i'm going to click deploy all right as you can see this is successful so let's try to click go to dashboard and then click the domain right here and then we have the project live as you can see, basically we have to update the environment variable. So I'm going to copy this URL or I can just go to slash r slash quote card dot json, quote dash card dot json. Hit enter and then as you can see, this is basically the json file, right? So I can copy everything in here, go back to the quote card on my first soul, go to settings and then go to environment variables not on the environments but on the environment variables right here so anyway i just uh, going to copy the link right here into my environment variables like this and then try to copy everything right and then go to the first row and then just paste that right here on the key i can just paste that and as you can see it is automatically basically super nice i can save that like this so we can just click redeploy. It's on the production, it's fine. Click redeploy. We can just click this view deployment so we can see any error. You can click this build logs anyway. As you can see, everything is fine. And then it's successful. So let's try to click that. And then now as you can see, all URL is full right now. So we have this HTTP, etc. So let's try to use this. Anyway, I'm going to generate a brand new Next.js application first. All right, as you can see, this is brand new Next.js application with setcn installed. As you can see, there's no component folder and etc. So let's try to use this command right here. I'm going to copy that, go to the terminal, and then just paste this. npx setcn add http colon slash slash quote card dash two dot first all dot app and then r and then slash quote dash card dot json. Right? If I hit enter, as you can see, this is basically will automatically install also the card, all right, the card UI, and then the quote card itself. As you can see, now we have the component and then quote card. This is the quote card that we have. And then we also have the UI slash card basically, right? Super cool. This is working. All right, so I think that's it guys for this video. I hope this is helpful and see you on the next one.